Okay, this is the front door of 905 Eagle Creek Trail with the D.R. Horton Greens at Westridge Community. This one is scheduled to be completed in August and has two, will have two, uh, 2,951 square feet, 2,951. Two story, four bedrooms, three and a half baths. It uh, does have a balcony in the back. Uh, this one, uh, when you walk into the front door, you're immediately greeted by the stairwell up to the second level. And up there is the uh, formal dining and then the living, air, living room and the kitchen. But first, over here to our left, is the guest bathroom for the downstairs. You notice in this configuration, the toilet is being installed immediately next to the uh, sink, which will likely just be a pedestal sink. It'll be a pedestal sink right next to the toilet on this floor plan. This is in rough shape, um, obviously under construction, not going to be ready until August. Uh, it, it's hard to, you know, to look past that and imagine. It's easy to look past the mess, but it's hard to imagine it being so clean and shiny and smelling good and warm and comfortable, but uh, it will be. Definitely will be. Uh, on the other side of that wall will be obviously the garage. Now, this formal dining room, uh, what D.R. Horton is saying, is one that could be converted to a, uh, a an office or a, a study and I believe whether what he's thinking here is you know these uh, arch entryways we could we could bring that wall out right there this wall here we could bring that wall out maybe a couple feet and then it's really just make that more of a hallway a, a little na more narrow hallway but then you know bringing you know and also bringing this wall out a few feet as well you're know, making it a bigger a bigger room um, because the hallway would have the windows the the office would not have um, a window so therefore it could not legally be made into a bedroom they could not put a closet in it uh, you could certainly put a closet in it yourself uh, after closing, but for the city inspections, they won't allow a bedroom to be made without a without a window for you know fire and safety reasons. But uh, this is, it could be a very good sized room. I would guess probably 12 by 12 approximately. Um, you know, and you, what you would do then is is along here, you know, where this wall comes out. And then along here, there's actually, they have a little red line right there, if you can see it very well. They have a red line, you know, along with, you know, maybe that wall could be right there along that red line. And then right here in the middle of the room, you would put double, double doors, uh, French doors with some glass windows, if you like. Or you can go solid doors. Or you can just go one single solid door, that'd be totally your call. But if you're planning to use it as an office, maybe the uh, double glass doors would be nice, because then... If you're sitting in here without any windows, at least you'd have some glass doors, you know, peering out, getting some natural light from the outside. Just one idea. Uh, but anyway, ha uh, passing through the formal dining area then, again, very, very rough shape. It's hard to imagine this completed and looking beautiful, but it will. Uh, this was the kitchen area here. I, I certainly remember a Sims townhome looking just like this. Uh, there'll be a kitchen area here, and you still have a little breakfast nook out here in front of the bar uh, counter for a, a, a breakfast table. And here will be a, a little pantry and utility room. The walkthrough utility room. It's very good size, though. You have plenty of room. For washer and dryer there, then uh, or washer there, dryer here, and then you still have some space here. You know, you, uh, if you wanted to, to have them, maybe perhaps if they can plumb for a sink or uh, um, or just have space for an ironing board, and then the door to the garage. As you can see, they're working in the front yard right now, and they have a, a bulldozer out here picking up a lot of the the debris from the construction, so I'm not able to get out there and take good pictures of the front, but I will a little bit later.
take some still photos. This is the garage, a uh, standard two-car garage. A uh, little pedestal over here is where the hot water heater will be installed. Now heading back into through the utility room, back through the kitchen. Then you have the living area. This is a good sized living area. Fireplace will be installed there, certainly, and you get uh, space for the TV. It could either be mounted on that wall or above the fireplace, depending on your preference. Uh, there is a back patio as well as a balcony above. It's a very good sized patio. The balcony is right there above it. Uh, this one uh, will have a, eventually will have a home behind it. Uh, however, you can tell that the uh, this particular lot is raised somewhat higher than the other lots, so their their home uh, well it should be a little bit lower. But you still have some some good depth. Um, I'm not all the way to the back of the lot yet here. Now I am, but uh, you still have some good depth. then they'll have equal space that will be the balcony heading back into the home I'll take a walk upstairs again it's always easy to look past the debris and the dirt and uh, stuff but it's just sometimes it's so hard to go beyond that and picture it completely finished and painted and carpeted and tiled and wood floors or whatever uh, flooring you choose but painted trim in place insulated climate controlled obviously creates a completely different feeling now this one is a four bedroom the master is down Uh, but it also has a bonus game room. This door right here at the top of the stairs obviously will just lead to attic. But over here to the left is a very large room. This would be the bonus room or the game room. Or if you're open to an upstairs office, it would be a great place to look out, uh, look out for some scenery. You can see Across the street will eventually be some homes, but right behind those homes is the uh, one of the golf course holes. Very good size room. Like I said, the game room. Uh, we'll have a full bathroom. Uh, you can see this configuration here is the uh, bathtub, be the toilet, and the uh, sink. I just realized I did not walk through the master bedroom when I was downstairs, so I'll certainly go back and do that here in just a moment. But while we're upstairs, we'll finish this. Uh, coming down the hallway from the top of the stairs, we have the first bedroom. Has a full walk-in closet. Oops, sorry. Um, this bathroom is configured such that there's the tub and sink and over uh, behind this half wall here is the commode. So that bathroom is uh, able to be entered from both the hallway and that bedroom, that first bedroom there. Now there looks like there will be a uh, couple steps here to step up to the next area and then uh, Another bedroom, very good size. Also has a walk-in closet and high ceilings. And then walking through the rest of the hallway. This actually I would imagine is the game room. Perhaps they're calling that first room up at the front one of the other bedrooms because this room has the door to the balcony. Now it does have a closet and several windows, so it could be considered one of the bedrooms. But uh, I don't know if they're going to put a separate door separating this room. They certainly could if you wanted one. 
but nonetheless, it's a very large room. And then out to the back of the house here is the balcony. That's the sales office and models there. Now real quick, let me just head back downstairs and get that master bedroom for you. Again, this is that big room up at the front that I thought was a game room. It does have a bathroom, but I don't know. I don't see where it has a closet. But so I don't know if they're calling that a bedroom or the bonus room. But either way, you will use it for what you use it for. Now, really quickly, heading back to that master bedroom for you, which is right off the living. You do have a little bit of a separation from the rest of the house. You do have an arched walk through here that then turns into the master bedroom. Master bedroom is good in size. I'd say probably if I have to guess I would say 18 by 16. But then coming into the master bathroom and closet area uh, immediately on the right will be the tub next to the shower and outside will be uh, the double vanity sink very very wide counter space and then to, uh, just past the shower is the commode just a typical small little uh, bathroom commode room And then a very, very large closet. Extremely large. Okay. So this is 813 Eagle Creek, I'm sorry, 905 Eagle Creek Trail. Uh, ready in August 2013, priced at 305. 040, $305,040 by D.R. Horton in the Greens at Westridge Community.